Hello everyone, TechnoSooth Craig Chamberlain here. We are moving forward with the virus removal series and we are now on episode 7. Now if you've been following us so far, we've done a complete backup of your system. We've ran a few pieces of software hoping that they've removed your virus and maybe you're out of luck. Maybe none of those have worked so far. So, that's why I created the HD Virus Removal Pack. You can get it on my website of course. And it's free and you can also Google these tools individually. So, if you've downloaded the HD pack, uh, it's on video 2 if you haven't uh, downloaded it yet, shows you where to find it. We've already ran up to Super Anti Spyware Online Scanner, we did that last time. Now we're going to run the NOD32 Online Scanner. Now NOD32 is a, uh, a very, very reputable company. They do fantastic work in the antivirus world. And this is actually a very, very nice online scanner. And uh, if this doesn't find it, I'm going to be very surprised. Uh, whether it can fully remove it or not is you know, up for debate. Some root kits are just very, very tricky and they're hard to get out of there and even NOD can't get them out of there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run through this uh, ESET online scanner. After you've double clicked on it, just uh, accept the terms of use. Of course, read them. I'm obligated to tell you to do that and then click start. What it's going to do is download the online scanner. That's why we booted in safe mode with networking and that was on episode three. This will not work without networking. The online scanner will boot up. It asks you if you want to scan the archives and remove the found threats. Of course, we want to do both, and then we're going to, this is going to take a while, just so you know, uh, you might as well scan and walk away, then click start, and it'll start downloading the actual virus signature database. Now, the download shouldn't take very long. NOD has a very, very nice database, and the nice thing about this online scanner is it's going to download the most recent definitions every time, which is why in, when it's included in this kind of package, no matter when you run it or how you run it, it's going to download the most recent definitions, which is why I like to do the safe mode with networking. Once the download's complete, it's going to run the scan. Just let it finish. You can walk away if you want to. After your scan is completed, which mine took 35 minutes, you cannot scan the archives. It'll make it take quite a bit less time. But you probably want to scan everything. I mean, if you know your computer's infected, just, just do it just to be safer than probably you have to. Then just uh, go ahead and clean out anything it tells you to. It might need to reboot your computer. And of course, as I've told you before, make sure you write down the name of the infection because they will tell you. It might be win32.trojan. Whatever, uh, whatever the name of it is, because these things are notorious for reinstalling themselves. And you might need to do a little research on that on Google or wherever. I'm going to show you guys how to do a little research later. And so you can figure out how to specifically remove whatever virus that may be. Then just click finish. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out of that, and that's all there is to it. Now, don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and uh, the whole purpose of this series, again, is for those hard-to-remove viruses, those ones that are deeply embedded. Maybe they keep you from running your proper applications or running installations for, like, malware bytes and things like that. And also, don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate you guys coming by, and I uh, hope you have a good day.